Hello and welcome all to another quick tips and tricks video. This video is the second part of the Docker series. We discussed using existing images and launching the containers in the last video. If you haven't seen the video, please go and watch that video first and come back to this video. Before moving forward, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell icon. We will create a simple Express.js app and run it inside a Docker container. Let's start by creating the index.js file in the app folder. Initialize using npm init hyphen y. Install the Express package using npm install hyphen hyphen save express command. Create an environment file named .env file and set the node env, port and mongodb url values. In the index.js file, import the express package. Get the port variable value from the process.env object and give a default value. Create an express app and a root for the get method that simply responds with the hello world string. Finally, let's expose our app to the specific port and print a basic log indicating the app can be accessed via the port. Now our app is ready to be dockerized. Let's create the docker file and use node version 16 alpine. Set the working directory as app. Copy the package and index.js files. Run npm ci with flags no audit and ignore scripts. Finally, run the index file. In the docker compose file, add an app service. Set the build context as app folder. Set the docker file and expose port 3000. We will also set the environment variables node env, port and mongodb url. Move the .env file to the root directory since the docker compose needs to access the environment variables. We can also specify the restart policy here. Let's start the docker using the specific service name. This will only create the service selected and its dependencies. The first run will take some time since it will pull the node version 16 alpine in our system. Our app is successfully dockerized. The Mongo service we created on the previous video is not exposed outside the Docker container. But, we may still access it from other apps in the same container. Let's try to connect to our Mongo database from the app service. Let's install the MongoDB packing. Import the Mongo client class from the package. Create a client object using the Mongo client class and pass the MongoDB URL to the class constructor. Connect to the database using the client object, print a basic log indicating that the database is connected, and move the app.listen method in the callback function. Let's rebuild this in Docker and see if this works. Yes, MongoDB connected and listening on port 3000. We will create an Angular app in the following video and build the static HTML site. We will also attempt to dockerize the generated static site. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and comment below your thoughts. See you in the following video.